we are ready for bout number one and this is a welterweight contest over six rounds now introducing the boxer fighting art from the blue corner this is the man this evening is spotted in the white and black trunks black shoe and blue gloves to match this is the man who came to the ring with a weight of 149.10 pounds and this is the man with the official record of three fights one win one draw and one defeat he is born at Akotolante here in Accra presenting to you the boxer from the Akotoku Academy here in Accra and is switching over to the red corner this is a boxer who was born and bred at Atupahe here in Accra this is the man with a weight of 149 pounds with the official record of one fight one win no defeat and the win came by way of knockout from the Atto Kashi Boxing Gymnasium under the tutelage of the deputy trainer of the Black Bombers of Ghana coach Akainete presenting to you the boxer Aminu Kwashi and the man in charge of this fight is David Mills, Judge 1 Erasmus O, Judge 2 Michael Nikwe, and Judge 3 Nathaniel Obey. Good evening, gentlemen. I expect a good and clean fight. Obey my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Bring you nothing but the best when it comes to professional boxing. Erasmus O, Michael Nikwe as well as Nat or being are other judges at ringside Round. in commentary position with me One. as i told you earlier on <coughs> sam nana gold will be walking us through what we need to know as we bounce straight into round one this is the first bout of the evening as the deluxe professional boxing league fight night 14. ernest ampa in white trunks and aminu mohammed in red all right, so Prince, uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. I remember as a young boy, I watched you on TV and followed your exploits. And today here we are, you know, uh, working by your side. Um, so this bout is a very, very fiery encounter. Um, we have um, Ernest Ampa. Ernest Ampa, in his last outing, he defeated um, Francis Lamte from the Black Panthers Boxing Gymnasium. And also on that same night, Aminu Kwashi also defeated James Lamte out of the Sea View Boxing Gym. So both bosses are coming off big wins and already some hot exchanges right there. Exchanges are hot. I can tell you that Aminu has been under the cosh for a couple of seconds trying to fight out uh, of uh, trouble now. Ernest Ampa, the aggressor of the two in white. And one thing that I would like, uh, uh, um, a very commendable act by um, some of the boxers out of the Atokwashi stable. Anytime a stable mate is fighting, you see majority of the boxers behind them, giving them the moral support and, and trying to urge them on. I, I, I saw a while ago, I saw um, Isaac Saki, former WBO Africa Bantamweight champion, cheering Aminu Kwashi on. That is his stable mate. You know, sometimes you will see George, the Red Tiger, Ashi, you know, coming on to cheer fellow stable mates onto victory. That is a very commendable act by um, boxers from the Atokwashi Boxing Gymnasium. Quality boxers from Quality James tonight. Ernest Ampa trying to uh, open up. Looks, it looks like um, the, that overhead. Uh, right from Ernest Ampa has found a home so far. I mean, who tries to fight his uh, his way out of uh, trouble, and but it's good, good enough pressure from uh, Ernest Ampa. Yeah, and Prince, if you recall, uh, Aminu Kwashi has um, a background of a kickboxing. He's a was a kickboxer before, you know, uh, switching over to boxing. Uh, a couple of the Ghanaian boxers now. First going into kickboxing and then uh, switching their way into professional boxing. And pretty much they've done quite well for themselves. Sure, sure they have. Richard Comey being a very good example of that. Exactly, very good example Richard Comey. From kickboxing into professional boxing, he's gone all the way to the top. And still 
spreading his loins. Yeah. Seconds out. Getting round. ready for round two. Two. As the first bout of the evening is the Deluxe in Professional Boxing League Fight Night 14. First bout of the evening, and it's uh, good enough for an exercise between Atokwashi's Aminu Kwashi and Akotoku Academy's Ernest Ampa. Ernest Ampa in the red trunks. Straight away hostilities will begin and Ampa now back by back pedaling, I should say. Aminu trying to set him up for the uh, early fall. Ampa ducks a few times, walks away out of trouble, but Aminu still closing in. Aminu is gradually warming himself into the fight landed a few shots to the head of Ampa and looks like his fans are gradually getting behind him Ampa trying to score a few points with a uh, body shots looking for that opening works on the body Aminu gets out of the way and then Amin, uh, Aminu punishes him with a left Looks like Ampa seems like he's gassing out a bit, breathing very heavily. Officials looking on closely. And both boxes are very evenly matched. Yeah, at the moment it's a give and take affair. Nobody has the clear advantage. Ampa would put pressure on Amino. Ampa has had more fights than uh, Aminu so yeah. obviously would come in as the experienced boxer yeah most definitely Aminu this is his second fight his first fight lasted just trying two to, rounds trying to punish Ampa there David Mills will separate the two a fair caution and the fight will continue Well, at the uh, weigh-in, 24 hours before fight night, Ampa may declare he doesn't know whether he'll finish the fight within the distance or whether he'll go the full distance. But he's assured his fans that he's picking up a win. Ampa under the uh, pressure from Aminu at the moment into the corner. Couple of left punches uh, from and Amino and then Ampa goes in for the break. And the 10 second clap. Hefty blow to the head of Ampa. Amino trying to punish his opponent, but the bell comes to the rescue of uh, Ampa. They are showers. Dropping in their numbers Three. gradually to the Bokum Boxing Arena. Where all the action is happening tonight. Mr. Addo, the ring or the bell man ushers us into the third round of the first fight. And that is Isaac Saki in yellow at the background. Former WBO Bantamweight champion urging. Well, Ampa. And that has to be a knockdown. Take the mandatory eight count. Yes. Had to hold on to the ropes. But he says he's good enough. David Mills is convinced the fight will definitely Prince, continue. I told you Aminu was warming into the fight. And let's see how Ampa would cope under adversity. And I also see Obodai Sai right in the corner of Aminu. A stellar support base for Aminu from his table mates. Aminu keeps, keeps coming uh, forward. Aminu in red trunks and Ampa in white. Ampa has visited the canvas once. Aminu clearly in control, trying to narrow the gap. And then goes in with the uh, 
the left punches. To no effect and no avail at this stage. But obviously he's keeping Ampa at bay. Big one to the head of uh, Aminu, Aminu from yeah. Ampa. And Ampa's face is also marking up. Ernest Ampa looked quite confident coming into this uh, bout. And let's see what Aminu has to offer. Aminu indicated that he's not going to be resting on his oars when the fight begins. He's coming all out. And so far, that's exactly what he's doing. And Prince, they are trading heavy leather in the center of the ring. Wild miss from Aminu. That keeps the pressure going. Aminu at the receiving end, he says, what you're giving me is not enough. And a clinch from my uh, Ampa. Normally, when a boxer makes that gesture, it rather means the opposite. The timing by uh, Aminu, not the best, nearly went out of the ring. But shows that he's strong, he's still active. And would want to give more and i don't i don't know why ampa decided to le let amino off the hook on that occasion seconds out round four let's see what happens in the fourth round it's looking good for the corner of uh, amino they're still giving him instructions and Ernest Ampa seems to have taken a little bit of the punishment, like you rightly said, Nana. Uh, Sam, his face has taken a bit of a swelling. Yeah, he's mugged up at this stage. Welterweight contest scheduled for six rounds. And now Aminu keeping close eyes, close tabs on uh, Aminu. Tries to go through with the uh, left. A solid left there. Yep. Steady punching by Aminu. And Ernest is uh, yet to uh, respond. He, Trying to use the left jab to keep Aminu at bay. from a southpaw stance and thereby is confusing his opponent. Aminu is fighting from a south pole stance with the right foot in front. Aminu still closing up and he's looking for that big opening and there Ernest goes down. He goes down, I beg your pardon, again. Still looks good, still looks strong. Takes the mandatory eight count from uh, referee David Mills. But obviously, this is not going to augur well for Ernest in the totality of points. Just before the knockdown, Aminu did a very tactical switch. He began to fight with the south pole stance and went to the body a couple of times before he had a chance to, to deliver that shot that rendered Ampa to the canvas. Wild miss by uh, Ampa. Not connecting with those right punches. Gets to the uh, head of Aminu, but Aminu would not give up. Still comes closer and closer. Again, looking for that big opening. Ernest tries to work on the body of Aminu. Now Aminu comes yes. out on skate. But now, this time, Aminu takes a big punch. Good left from uh, Ampa. Then he goes down. Looks like Aminu... Is quite dazed. The last time he won, his girlfriend was in the ring, was shedding tears. Let's see what happens tonight. Into the last 10 seconds of the fight now, it's been good enough. Good comeback from uh, Ampa. 
they would want to continue from there and bring lips amino to the head but seconds out round five let's see what the fifth round has to offer at least both boxers have tasted the canvas Ampa has done that more than uh, Aminu. So at this stage, it won't be too difficult to understand why both boxers would want to be uh, very careful and cautious. Big one from uh, Aminu doesn't penetrate the guard. Gets one to the head and now trying to use the uh, jabs to advantage and one. He goes down again. Two. He says he's good. David Mills says he's uh, convinced. So, Aminu will try to close it once again. This time it's the clinch. It doesn't work. Trying to battle his way through. Eventually, he succeeds with uh, clinching Aminu. And uh, Sampa trying to get a lot more active now in the... Uh, about Ampa, that is. That is Aminu. It's a give and take affair. Aminu seems to have the heavier of the punches. Wild miss from Aminu. Ampa tries a left hook, but he, miss he misses. And then a couple of uh, punches to the head and body of each other. Pressure is on. Aminu seems to be in the driving seat. Ampa goes in for the clinch. Good work done by both boxers, especially in this fifth round. It, and all it means that in the sixth round, it will go down the wire. Ampa again backpedals into the corner, gives Aminu an opportunity. It looks like Aminu, Aminu's. Uh, strongest point is that left of his into the clinch once again they go and Ampa clearly visibly looks tired and this opening fight has definitely been been a thriller that's so a big far. one to Ampa's head Ampa has proved to be very durable so far A miss from Aminu, but he'll still keep the pressure coming. And then Aminu takes one big one. Oh, it's been a give and take affair in this fight. Fifth round has been exciting. And Ampa tries to work on uh, professional Second boxing. Out. Sure, Prince. Six against the final Atotoku. Round. Two gyms that have a rich history behind them. So here we go, three minutes of active boxing. It's the sixth and the final round, the first fight of the evening, a welterweight contest. Ernest Ampa in white. Aminu Kwashi in red. Both boxers would want to be careful, especially in this round. But I'm sure that towards the last 10 seconds or more of this bout, there would be an explosive one. The shot from Ampa. Ampa tries to get Aminu into the corner. Ampa tries to rush in. Very close to core at this point. Yeah, well, it looks like it will go down the wire, and at that stage, we would only have to depend on the ring announcer, Mohamed Amin Lamte, to separate the two. What a fight it has been. It's the first fight of the evening for Fight Night 14. It's a welterweight contest. It's scheduled for six rounds. And it's been fought at a, at a blistering pace so far. Blistering pace. 
right from the beginning both boxers having a go at each other not relenting at all in their quest to eck that victory those three points at stake Tokwashi against Akotoku referee David Mills it's a problem with Aminu's footwear yeah. needs to get the strapping around Ampa in the neutral corner and an opportunity for him to take the last bit of instructions before the fight comes to an end Aminu has to tall looks pretty okay former kickboxer now concentrating on professional boxing and Ampa tries to attack Good body shot. Huge to left to the jaw of Aminu. And again, Aminu seems to be under some amount of pressure from Ampa. He's not taking the advantage to finish it off. Wild punches, wild misses from both boxers. Prince, I won't be surprised if this fight should end in a stalemate. Gradually fighting through to to the end of the year, uh, about and again. And what's interesting is that both boxers are ready to have a go at each other. Now Ampa stalking his opponent. Reminds me of a late Arturo Gadi against Mickey Ward. A ding dong affair. Last 10 seconds. There's all to fight for now until the bell goes for the end of the round. Well, listen, gentlemen, we have the verdicts. Are we ready? Are we ready for the verdicts? So here we go. Judge one, confidence Yagbo. Scored about 56 to 56. Judge two, Clement Ashon. Scored about 57 to 57. And Judge 3, Nathaniel Obey, scored about 55 to 57. By a split draw decision, ladies and gentlemen, the fight has been declared as a split draw.